Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon White. In the last part, we uh we got our starter and everything like that. So yeah. Hold on, let me turn the sound down a little bit. Okay, so in the last part, yeah, we got our starter. So um, he oh I got him up one more level just because he learned to water gun at level seven. So I got him up to level seven. Uh, I know you can't see the bottom screen, but he knows water gun. Now. He has tackle, tail weapon, water gun. So, yeah. Um, so, I guess we can just make our way through here. Oh, it's a wild Pokemon. It's Pet Rat. So, yeah. Let's use Water Gun. get some experience from that so yeah there's this guy right here let's see he's talking about wild Pokemon in the grass and stuff so this is Pokemon HP all right when your Pokemon HP decreases while you're on the road it can be a big problem so I'll give you this so she gives us the potion which is helpful Oh, another wild Pokemon. So yeah, let's use Water Gun. Now let's use a Tackle. We got, like none, no experience from that. Wow. Head up here now. Oh, Sharon and Bianca. So I guess they were up here. Uh, Bianca, how about it? So yeah, let's see who caught the most Pokemon. I only caught well, I caught none. So <laughs> who cares? I don't even I don't even care. The extra saver. Hey, it's Professor Juniper, and we're skyping together. You ever realize we all have the same background? So I guess we're all in the same place. Okay, so now we're in the first town. Accumula Town, or however you pronounce it. You can head up here, you can head down here, you can head up here, you can head down here, you can head down here. You can go anywhere. Because it's free. And it's all free. So we see Professor Juniper. Wait, if you were talking. If you were right here, and we were right here, and you were talking to us, why didn't you just come over and walk over? I mean, what the heck? You're so lazy. God. This is what you get for that. A good kicking. Professor Juniper. Oh, heroic. Traveling with your Pokemon can be tiring and blah, blah, blah. Please come with me because I am your stalker. Okay. Uh, let's head inside then. Hey, it's Bianca with the big exclamation point. No one cares about you, Bianca. Just shut up. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to heal up. Let's heal our Pokemon. She'll take our Pokemon for a few seconds, and she'll heal him up. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. So, yeah. This is the PC. It's free to any Pokemon trainer. Whoa, wait. What kind of accent was that? Was that, like, Russian? <laughs> was, that like, was that, like, Hitler's accent? <laughs> okay, so, uh, she explains to you what the PC is, and it's very helpful. Uh, very helpful thing. It can uh store your Pokemon magically, just storing your Pokemon into a computer. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So shut up. <laughs> okay, so now they're gonna explain even more stuff, which gets on my nerves. Oh, uh, just shut up, please. So yeah, potions and Pokeballs, and you know you can buy some things from these guys here. The two. The Pokemon is in the Pokemon Center. <gasps> isn't that just con isn't that just convenient? You know, it's just helpful. Sounds like something's going out in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look and see. So yeah, those guys are going to go over to the 
to the plaza. Whoa, what's going on here? It's a mob. Oh my god, it's great. Pumpkins sitting around. Oh, wait, those are people. It's a guy with green hair. Oh, who is that? He's a creepy looking guy. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subjects to the selfish commands of traitors. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Huh. Whoa, he's in front of us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They live, they're live. they living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from, which, from whom we humans live much to learn. Tell me. What is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equal. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between po people and Pokemon and, correct, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. And they pick up the flags and then they form some kind of weird line looking thing and then they walk off. Really, really, really weird. See, so yeah, I know they're all talking about it, and they deform, and now they're it's just us. Well, what's that guy doing? Hey, what's up? Your Pokemon just now is saying. What? So then you talk too fast. What is this all about? Then, whoa, he's saying my Pokemon is talking? My name is Sharon, and this is Heroic. We're asked to complete, a Pokedex, complete the Pokedex after we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in these Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't, can't help wondering. As Pokemon, I mean, are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, heroic, is it? Let me hear a Pokemon's voice again. Whoa. So, we're challenged by Trainer N. So yeah, he sent out this purloin, which sounds like sirloin, which makes me hungry for steak, because I'm hungry. I'm a big hungry boy. So yeah. He uses growl, even though we're probably not even going to use any physical attacks right now, so that doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, then he uses scratch. I use water gun. It's pretty easy. This isn't hard yet, so. Purloin fainted. Good. Okay, so we get 118 experience points. And we go to level 8. Whoa, we almost went to level 9, but we are close. So, as long as Pokemon are confined to Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. So yeah, he walks off. Yes, he he's actually fast. Huh? Strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Stritunt City. Aim to battle the gym leader after after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become strong is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. So yeah, he'll walk off like a little pansy. So uh, you can go heal up if you want. I guess I will because just I would rather be on the safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's head inside the Pokemon Center. So yeah, she'll heal up our Pokemon for us, which is nice, which is nice, so. And it's all free. So now let's head back out. So yeah, um, you can look around and explore around here, but I don't really have the time to do it, so let's just, I just want to keep going. This emulator sucks, it's going so slow. You know what I mean? It's just, I, says, I kinda wanted to record it on my DS because it's just easier. So we're here on Route 2. Whoa, x Siever is ringing, huh? Heroic, it's your mom, how are things? Are you and your Pokemon settling along and stuff? And yeah, she's... Whoa, hey mom! Ugh, you're kinda creeping me out how much you stalk me. Oh, she gave us the running shoes! Probably the best item in the game in my opinion because they let you run in a flash. 
Uh, mom, I don't care what you have to say, so don't even speak. Your girlfriend freak likes to so silly. That's part of my flag and my flag right in my head. I'm out of my head. I'm out of my mind. It's the bottom of my climb. You hide them. I'm not on my time. I'm not even trying. Let's pop in. Sly. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop rapping. Okay. So now that we have the running shoes, we can run. What else do you think you could do in running shoes? So it's... Whoa! It's a wild Pokemon! It's a Purloin. Sirloin! What's up, Sirloin? Water gun. Water gun its face. Water gun straight down its throat so it can drown. Oh, level nine. What a beautiful level. Yes, it looks like an upside down, upside down six. Yes. We found a potion. <gasps> it's a wild Pokemon. It's a it's a Lillipop, a Lilipop, a Lilipop. So. Let's water gun its vocal cords. That sounds kind of violent. <laughs> yes, water gun. Level 24. Nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. Chill out. It's a pat rat. So, oh, let's just run from it. Oh, it's a guy. How are, you, how are you doing? Whoa, what are you doing to me? Whoa, you want to battle? Okay. I guess we'll battle then. See what I mean with this emulator? It's just so weird. Okay, so Pat Rat, Pat Rat, Pat Rat, Pat Rat, Pat Rat, Pat Rat. Level 7, pretty high. So uh, let's use a water gun real quick. Oh, uh, yay, we're about to win. We won our first battle. Oh. oh, we're almost level 10. Yay, okay. Let's talk to this dude. What you? What are you doing? When your Pokemon don't have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in tall grass. That's that's good to know. Let's read the sign. Trainer tips. Pokemon that participate in battle receive experience points. Have your Pokemon battle often and make them stronger and stronger. <gasps> like steroids! So experience points are basically like steroids. The more you get, the stronger you become, so. Hey, what you doing, lady? What you doing? I love Pokemon battles because my cute Pokemon will do its best in a really cute way. You're weird. <laughs> Shouldn't tell the Sirloin. Sirloin the cat. Okay, so use a water gun real quick. Tries to use an assist, but I say no! And we used to go to level 10. Yay, we're level 10 now, so let's continue on. No one likes wild Pokemon. Leave me alone. Okay, so now, um... We can take on this guy up here. Lillipop, Lillipop, my Lillipop, go! I wonder if he has a Lillipop. Whoa! No way! I, 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 can, I can see the future. So, let's use a water gun real quick. Yay, Tsunami, you're doing really well so far. Okay. So, uh... If you go over here, there's two items. A Pokeball. And a Potion. So if you hit up here, be careful. Because Bianca is stalking us. Hey, she wants to have a Pokemon battle? Okay. Pokemon trainer Bianca would like to battle. Lily Pup. And I have my Oshawa, my level 10 sexy Oshawa. It's named Tsunami. Level 11, yay! Water Sport, which is a horrible move. Doesn't really do much. 
Water gun. Yeah, you take that, Tefig. Yay, we beat Bianca. So after we beat her, we can finally make it to the next city, which is Striton City, which which has the first gym in the game. So yeah, we'll continue on in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and bye.